1937, Japanese troops captured the city of Nanjing and went on a six-week campaign of slaughter. The Nanjing massacre is now considered one of the worst atrocities in modern times. It is estimated that between 250,000 and 300,000 people were killed, mostly women and children. Here's a preview of the first episode from the Nanjing Massacre archives. Wei Jia has the details. Luo Jin, an apprentice in a photo studio in Nanjing, received film shot by a Japanese officer. They contained photos of Japanese soldiers killing Chinese civilians. He kept 16 photographs and hid them in a monastery. After the war, the photos were transferred to a military court in Nanjing. It was 1938. I think Spring Festival hadn't come yet. A Japanese military officer came to the photo studio and wanted two rolls of film developed. When I developed them, for the first time I found three photos. Evidence was also provided by a Christian missionary, John McGee, who witnessed the atrocities by Japanese troops. He took many photos as well as videos and traveled to Shanghai. These copies were later carried to the United States, Britain, Germany and reproduced as still photographs. In 1946, John McGee appeared at the International Military Tribunal for the Far East as eyewitness. He described Japanese soldiers as killing not only every prisoner they could find, but also a vast number of civilians of all ages. The killing began immediately in several ways, often by individual Ch Japanese soldiers uh, or up to 30 soldiers together going about, each one seeming to have the power of life or death. And then soon there was organized killing of great bodies of men. These people were being killed by rifle fire and machine gun principally. Also, we knew of groups of several hundred being banned to death. The slaughter is over, but China will never forget those who were killed. Wei Jie, CCTV, 